Yeah. Now, the other announcement since we last recorded was the PDC have announced that the World Match Play will go ahead on the same dates as scheduled, tentatively in Blackpool with the crowd at the uh, Winter Gardens, but possibly somewhere else if it's not the crowd. And that could be not just in Blackpool, but a different location if uh, they're not able to have a crowd. Are the PDC, though, do you think offering false hope to ticket holders that they'll be able to attend the Winter Gardens this summer? Yeah, perhaps you could say that it's uh, a little bit of false hope, you know, when they're going to make this decision, I believe, on the 4th of July, whether they're going to have a crowd or not. So they're giving it a few more weeks. Um, you know, it's going to be two weeks before it starts. So they're giving themselves every opportunity, aren't they, the PDC? You can't really fault them for their optimism. You know, they want to give themselves every opportunity there is to get a crowd in there. And when we're talking now in, in mid-June, still two or three weeks away, if we're talking now the, the chances of having a crowd it's it's not great but things could change in in a few weeks time and they could be allowed a crowd whether it's going to be a a full crowd 100 percent capacity that's very very unlikely but if they can move into that stage three of the four stage plan that barry Hearn talked about on our show and he's spoken a little bit about since as well third stage of the plan is to have events with part of the crowd not the full crowd that's obviously the stage four when we all get back to normal but if they can get to that stage three and have 10%, 20%, 25%, whatever it is, then I think the PDC are going to go for it. And if you're a ticket holder, you've got tickets for, for Blackpool, I'm going to be sitting there wondering, well, you know, can we just make a decision now? But I'll give the PDC a little bit of credit here that they want to give themselves every opportunity to get the crowd in there. And the big thing is if they are allowed to have a percentage of the crowd, how are they going to decide it? Is it going to be based on the, the season ticket holders first and then a draw to decide? I'm, I'm not quite sure, but... Yeah, it's uh, it's a difficult one for ticket holders, but I think to to quote yourself, Burton, they've they've just got to hang tight for a few more weeks. Yeah, I'm I'm in full agreement there. It's what we've been saying for the last three months when we've had the show is we just don't know yet. And yes, in to some extent, the PDC are probably offering false hope because, as you rightly said, even if there will be a crowd, it's extremely unlikely that it'll be full capacity. It's also extremely unlikely that they'll even be able to do it at half capacity, which means that, yes, for most ticket holders, since the event is sold out, that means they won't be able to get in even if there is a crowd, or likely won't be able to get in even if there is a crowd of some sort. You can't rush a decision right now because we don't know things change from day to day. Where I am right now in Texas, we're now at the highest hospitalization rate we've ever been at. That's how quickly things can go from reopening to suddenly the slide back down the coronavirus uh, trail has accelerated. So we really just don't know. Um, yes, there are places where sporting events are taking place in front of crowds because they have fully eradicated COVID-19, Taiwan, New Zealand, South Korea. But those are the exceptions. I should add South Australia to that list. Uh, they were able to get 2,200 in for an Australian football match on uh, Saturday that it was, I think, 4% capacity is what they limited to, even though they basically eradicated it there. But the thing is, we just don't know yet. We don't know what it's going to be like in a month. So yes, it is to some extent false hope, but that's really the best the PDC can do, unless they're willing to go out and say that it was, they're doing it behind closed doors. And I don't think anyone wants to make that announcement until you have to. So yes, the PDC are offering false hope, but that's Again, that's the only thing they really can do right now because, as we've been saying for three months, we just don't know and we just can't predict what it'll be like next week, let alone next month. 